The 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games are well underway and many of Ottawa's talents are representing Team Canada. Kelly Ryan, who is a graduate of Glebe Collegiate and Carleton University, is a member of Team Canada's fencing team. This is her first Olympic Games, but Ryan has won more than a dozen medals at Pan American Championships, two medals at the Pan American Games, and has competed almost every year at the FIE World Championships. On Sunday, during her first performance at the Olympics, Ryan was knocked out in the quarterfinals of the women's individual foil competition, being defeated 15-11, to with the Russian Olympic Committee winning the match. Even so, she said it was her best competition yet. That was definitely like my best ever result. Um, and from what people say, I looked like I fenced really well. I, I haven't watched yet. I'm kind of saving that for, for after the, comp the team competition because I want to stay focused on that. Um, I was definitely really nervous and like very afraid of what it would be like to be out there. And I was scared that it would be over too quickly. Um, so I just really tried to focus on the experience and um, that ended up working out it seems um, but I told myself that even if it didn't end up with a good result that I was okay with it because I was going to cherish like the whole thing um, and to be honest like even being at the Olympics is a big accomplishment for me um, like it doesn't it would feel bad to lose the first match but it's also like coming top 32 at Worlds which is an accomplishment for me so um, I was I was just happy to be there and I just kept like used that um, to my advantage um, and I also used um, my teammates being there with me um, to help me as well. On Wednesday Ryan will have an opportunity to compete again this time as part of the Canadian women's foil team. They are going for gold currently placing sixth in the world. Talk on Reddit says they are the dark horse who could surprise many. We're going for a medal. Uh, is that possible? Yes. Is it likely? I don't know. Um, we've never won a medal before, so if we are able to achieve that goal, um, it will be a best ever for us. Um, the best we've ever done is fourth. Um, but I really think that we have the potential and um, the drive and, um, frankly, like the, like the camaraderie that you need to get to that point. Um, I think that we're kind of like a dark horse. The Olympics are taking place this year in Japan after being delayed a year despite much backlash from Tokyo residents. The COVID-19 pandemic there is picking up speed with low vaccination rates. So far, more than a dozen athletes have been left heartbroken after testing positive for the virus and over 155 cases have been related to the Olympic Games. Ryan says there are many safety precautions in place and they are not allowed to leave the Olympic Village. Even so, she says it feels like a normal Olympic experience, which has just been slightly altered given the pandemic world. It is interesting. So like we do a spit test every morning um, and uh, in our common room, we have to wear a mask because we're sharing it with um, other Canadian athletes, uh, the suite with other Canadian athletes. Um, and... Uh, we, every, every athlete pretty much wears a mask outdoors and indoors, no matter what. Um, and then at, at meals in the dining hall, they have these glass partitions, um, like on your sides and in front of you, which is smart, but also annoying because I'm bubbled with these fencers that I'm eating meals with. And we're like, kind of like reaching around the partitions and like standing up to talk to each other. Cause, and we're doing a lot of lip reading cause it's like, it does really block the sound. Um, so, um, it just feels like like everyday life with like a little bit of um, COVID protection and we're like trying to be as safe as we can because we want to be able to compete tomorrow and we also don't want to get in the way of um, our roommates and other athletes. So um, everyone's just doing a good job being safe, I think. Do you feel safe at the Olympics? I mean, we have seen a number, uh, not with Canada in particular, but at the Olympics, we've seen a number of COVID cases pop up. Um, you know, every day, um, there's been a lot of uh, backlash in Japan about hosting the Olympics. So do you feel safe being there? I do feel safe. Um, you know, it's, I'm vaccinated, my teammates are vaccinated, and we do everything we can to be as safe as we can. Um, we're wearing masks all the time, we're, there's hand sanitizer everywhere, um, everyone wears gloves to serve themselves meals. Um, and it's just like everything else that has been the pandemic you do everything you can 
um, you do every time, every time you do a test, you're like, hopefully I didn't mess something up that I didn't realize. Um, or hopefully something didn't happen that I, I didn't, I didn't know, but, um, I feel safe and I'm just, you know, trying to live my pandemic life. <laughs> Now, Kelly Ryan tells me she and her teammates have been keeping busy despite the circumstances. And as there is not a shortage of things to do, they've been going for walks around the Olympic Village and have been hanging out with other Canadian athletes within the common areas at the facilities. Now, I also asked Ryan about the heat which has been gripping Tokyo and it's been impacting a lot of athletes. Now, luckily for Ryan, her sports are indoors where it's air conditioned, but she says during training camp, it was hotter than what she's used to and they did sweat more than usual as well. Now, Ryan will be competing again tonight at about 9.50 p.m. Eastern time. Charlie Sinatio, News, Ottawa.